Quasic crystals shattered the foundation of crystallography when discovered in 1982 by Daniel Schechtman, who observed patterns in aluminum manganese alloys that were ordered but non-repeating. Unlike conventional crystals with periodic atomic arrangements, quasi-crystals exhibit forbidden symmetries like five-fold rotational symmetry, which crystallographers had believed mathematically impossible. Traditional crystallography held that crystal structures must have translational symmetry, patterns that repeat at regular intervals. But quasi-crystals defied this fundamental principle with their aperiodic yet ordered structures. The mathematical framework for understanding quasi-crystals actually predated their discovery, with Roger Penrose having developed his famous non-repeating tilings in the 1970s. Schechtman faced ridicule from the scientific community, with double Nobel laureate Linus Pauling famously declaring, there are no quasi-crystals, just quasi-scientists. Vindication came decades later when quasi-crystals were discovered in nature found in meteorite samples from Russia's Koryak Mountains, proving these structures weren't merely laboratory curiosities. Today, quasi-crystals find applications in non-stick cookware, surgical instruments, and LED technology due to their unusual properties like low friction, poor heat conductivity, and high hardness. Mathematically, quasi-crystals can be understood as three-dimensional slices or projections of perfect lattices existing in higher dimensions typically five or six dimensions. The significance of quasi-crystals was officially recognized when Schechtman was awarded the 2011 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, validating his persistence against the scientific orthodoxy of his time. Quasi-crystals remind us that science prog progresses not just through incremental advances, but sometimes through revolutionary discoveries that force us to reimagine the fundamental rules governing our universe.